Taylor talks about this, and this is why Mingling of Souls is one of my favorite books about sex, is because he's basically talking about how sex is not just a physical act. It's not just meant to be physical. It's meant to be the mingling of two souls coming together. It's more than just a physical thing. It's an emotional bond. It's a spiritual bond. It is a physical bond as well, but it's so much greater than that. And that's why it is so powerful. And so outside of marriage, it can do a lot of damage because it is you're not in covenant. So therefore, you can have sex and have have this emotional and this physical and the spiritual bond, but then you have no promise for it to be kept. And so when they leave, it's like heart wrenching. Yeah. Um, because you, your souls are mingled now; they're <laughs> separated, right. and it's hard and it's confusing. Uh, but I, I think I love- that's one of the biggest lies that the enemy does tell us today. You know what you see on television and what you read in books and all the things. It's like that lie that it sex means nothing, that it's just oh, like yeah. something you can do and forget about. And the next day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean it's <laughs> separated right. and it's hard and it's confusing. Uh, but I, I think love- that's one of the biggest lies that the enemy does tell us today. You know, what you see on television and what you read in books and all the things it's like, that lie that it sex means nothing, that it's just oh, like yeah. something you can do and forget about. And the next day, it doesn't matter. It doesn't mean anything. And I think deep down, we all know that's not true, mm-hmm. you know, but we want to pretend like that's true. We want to live like that. But deep down, we know that that's not true. But I, I think it has, you know, it has consequences. 